Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society. I wanted to show you my new Santa belt ornaments that I'm super excited about. They are a quick little project and I think they'd be perfect for gifts and for markets. I will link the pattern below and add a list of supplies that you will need. The only supply you may not have on hand is a three inch embroidery hoop and then you'll need a hook, scissors, needle, and a stitch marker. For this project, I use Knit Picks Comfy Worsted in the Black and Hawk Gray and the Shine Worsted in Serrano Red. We're going to get started by unscrewing our hoop and taking out the inner wood piece. Place the outer hoop to the side, grab your crochet hook and your red yarn. Make a slip knot with your yarn and leave a small tail. Grab your hook, your hoop, and your slip knot. Place your hook through the hoop and then attach your slip knot to your hook. Pull the hook to the front of the hoop. Yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop to complete a slip stitch. Then you will want to place your hook through the hoop again, grab the yarn that's in the back of the hoop, pull the yarn to the front of the hoop, yarn over, pull the yarn through both loops, completing a single crochet. You want to do this again by inserting your hook through the hoop, yarning over, bringing it to the front, and pulling through to make another single crochet. You'll want to do this around the whole hoop. It can feel a bit awkward, but once you get into the motion, um, it'll start to get a bit easier. I didn't include a stitch count in this part of the pattern because I know we all crochet a bit different. So if you crochet with looser stitches, you may need to take a second and bunch up your stitches as you crochet along. And if you are a tighter crocheter, you may need to fan them out as you go along as they start to bunch up on each other. When you get to the end of the hoop, you're going to slip stitch into your first single crochet that you made. So the first little stitch there is the slip stitch, then the single crochet. So we are going to slip stitch into that first stitch. This one got a little tricky on me, um, but pull the yarn through, cut the yarn, and then we are going to fasten off. Weave in your ends so they're nowhere to be seen. I probably could have crocheted that first one underneath the hoop, but I didn't. So I'm going to weave in all these ends by just going underneath um, some of the single crochets that I made. Cut off any extra ends and then rearrange your single crochets on your hoop. You will notice that there is a bump on the top where you fastened off and I like to keep that bump on the top when I connect it to the outer hoop. Grab your outer hoop and take out the screw completely just so it's a bit easier to stretch it out. You will want to lay your inner hoop right on top of that outer hoop. As you do this, you may need to rearrange your single crochets just a bit and I like to put that little bump on the top right in that middle section between the screw. Add your screw back in. Because the yarn is pretty tight around that hoop, you only want to screw it in like three or four times. I only go to about the end of the silver part and actually it's pretty secure at that point, so unless you feel like it's falling out, just go ahead and screw in a little bit more. Now we're going to be moving on to the belt. In the pattern it says to chain 35 or measure 7 inches. I included that because I did not include a gauge, just in case you crochet a little looser. You can measure 7 inches, you just want the belt to reach around the back of the hoop. If you have an embroidery hoop that's bigger or smaller or you want to try this on let's say like a teether, you just want to make sure that you chain long enough 
so that you can attach it in the back. So for the pattern, I'm going to use white yarn just so you can see a little better. We are going to start with a slip knot and chain 35. So we have 35 chains. We are going to start with a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So this is the first and that's the second. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the top of that chain yarn over again, pull through, and pull through all three loops on the hook. If you're a beginner or just a stitch marker addict like I am, you can always add a stitch marker to that first stitch. This way you can always keep track of where that stitch starts and ends. So we are going to half double crochet across the row until you reach the end. So we are headed to our last stitch. We're going to half double crochet into that stitch. Chain one and then turn our work. The chain does not count as a stitch so we are going to put our first half double crochet into that first stitch. Once again I love my stitch marker so I'm going to place one on that first stitch just to keep track of my stitches. Continue to half double crochet till the end of the row. So we are reaching the last stitch of the row. We know because we have a stitch marker in it. So we're gonna add our last half double crochet, chain one, and turn our work. We're gonna continue this for a total of four rows and then I'll meet you back at the end. I have fastened off and weaved in my corner tail and left an extra long piece of yarn for sewing for later. So you can take this belt and place it to the side until we're ready to assemble. So now we're gonna get started on the belt buckle. For the buckle, you wanna make a slip knot and chain 16. We wanna connect with a slip stitch to the top of the first chain. So we wanna make sure that we do not twist the chain. So what I like to do is make it into a U shape and make sure that the Vs are all flat. That way nothing will get twisted as we connect it. We are going to connect with a slip stitch into the top of that first chain. Chain one and then make the first single crochet in the same stitch that you made the slip stitch into. So we're going to single crochet one and then we are going to single crochet into the next two stitches. We are going to add three single crochet into the next stitch. And then we are going to single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Add three single crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet into the next three stitches. You will notice the pattern. Um, this is in order for us to get the four corners of the belt. So now we are going to single crochet three times into the next stitch. Add a single crochet into the next three stitches. And then we are going to add our last three single crochet into the last stitch. We're then going to connect with a slip stitch into the first single crochet. So we have a slip stitch, the chain, and then our single crochet. Add a slip stitch into that stitch. And then instead of fastening off, we're just going to cut the yarn. We are going to do a seamless join on this piece. So pull the yarn through and then grab a yarn needle and attach it to the end of the yarn. We are going to place our needle into the stitch to the left of our last stitch. We are going to go under both loops and pull the yarn needle through. 
Then we're gonna go back one stitch to the right, the last stitch that we worked, and we're gonna go right in the middle of the Vs and pull that through. And this makes a faux looking stitch. Weave in both ends. If you didn't crochet in that first end, weave in both ends, and then we'll meet back again. Our finished belt. I just wanted to add, if you don't have fabric glue, just make sure to leave a tail for attaching later. It is now time for assembly, so grab all three parts of your ornament, put a yarn needle onto the end of your belt, place the belt on your hoop, and then turn it over. We are going to connect the belt. We're going to connect the belt with a whip stitch, so place your yarn needle in a corner stitch of your belt and pull it through. Then you're going to insert it under two loops of one side and two loops of the other, and continue to do that all the way up. When you reach the last stitch, feel free to make a knot at the end just for extra security. Weave in any ends that are left and then I suggest you grab some fabric glue and just add a little dab to the wood of the hoop and then place that belt over the glue to dry. I have noticed on the ornaments that that is the part that moves around the most so you want to make sure that it's secure. Next is the belt. I just added some fabric glue to the belt, but if you are do not have fabric glue or don't want to use it, you can just leave a tail and attach it that way. For hanging the ornament, I did grab some twine, but feel free to use anything you'd like. Just attach a piece to the screw and then you are all done with your ornament. I hope you all like this quick project. I just want to show you this is the Santa belt one. And then I also made an elf one in the green, yellow, and black. I did make the belt one row shorter just because I figured an elf might have a shorter belt. I'm not sure. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about the pattern and the video. And then please, if you're on Instagram and you do make these, please tag me with Yarn Society. I'd love to see them or leave a comment or send me a DM. I'm always around and I'd love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching.